After our initial hands-on with One UI 4.0 beta with Android 12 on our S21 model, we've spent more time with it and had more information on some of the additional changes of this build of One UI 4.0 beta. As stated from our first video, the beta build is now open for S21 models via registration through the Samsung Members app. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy exclusive and new videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on Sam Mobile. Here's what we found with our quick fire breakdown of all the additional things from One UI 4.0 beta. There are new camera zoom animations when changing focal lengths, with each number highlighted changing yellow in color when selected. You'll find a toggle in the quick settings dropdown for camera and mic access, which can be added as additional options for quicker access to disable the camera and mic. There is now a new toggle which can be added in the quick settings dropdown for extra dim, which is a new accessibility feature allowing you to dim the display even further and also changing the intensity of it. There is a new lock screen access for changing audio output to different devices like speakers and headphones. You'll get customized controls depending on the music app that you are using as well. There is a new lock screen widget for voice recorder direct from the lock screen without unlocking your phone. The monthly calendar appears on the calendar widget to help keep track of your events from the lock screen. You can now also set the always on display to turn on whenever you receive a notification. New animation stickers are also available. And when it comes to wallpapers, icons, illustrations are now darkened automatically to provide a more consistent look. On a Samsung keyboard, you can now combine two emojis and add an animation to really get your feelings across when typing away. There is a new writing assistant powered by Grammarly right now just for the English language only at the moment to really help with your grammar and your language when you're typing. In the Tips app, you can now get preview videos that appear making it easier to learn the features that your Galaxy can do. You can now customize the list that appears on the share panel to reduce clutter and scroll left and right across the list of apps and people for quicker access. In the camera UI, in video mode, recording now starts straight away after you tap the record button instead of when you release it. In photo mode, you can touch and hold the shutter button as before to start recording a video, which you can then follow up by dragging your finger to the lock icon to continue recording without having to hold down the button for much more easier hands-free experience when recording video. There are more modes in single take and also more time can be added so you don't miss important moments. After the recording is finished, the content selection menu has been improved to help you easily choose the perfect shots that you want. When it comes to the pro mode, settings have been reorganized for a cleaner look. When the grid lines are on, the horizontal level indicators help you line up better for a perfect shot. After scanning a document, you can zoom in for fine editing. When you scan a QR code, you can choose from several options depending on the QR code that was scanned. Now moving to the gallery app, stories now show a video preview on the corner and a highlight video inside. You can also see where each picture in story was taken on a map. More options are available for sorting albums that contain lots of photos as well. Album covers are now shown at the top of the screen when you go into them. The search suggestions have been improved to help you find pictures and videos, in addition to recent searches being added as well. Remastered pictures can also be reverted to their original versions at any time, even after they've been saved. You can now edit the time, date, and location that pictures and videos were taken. When it comes to the photo and video editor, you can now add fun emojis and stickers to your pictures and videos. You can create video collages by combining multiple images and videos from your gallery. The new light balance option lets you edit the tone of pictures much more easily. The highlight editor reel has also been enhanced to give you even more control. You can revert edited videos back to their original versions at any time, even after being saved. 
You can also cut out objects such as faces, pets, buildings, etc. from a photo and paste it onto a different one. You can now use an AR emoji as your profile picture in contacts and your Samsung accounts. You can choose from over 10 poses or create your own expressions. There are new AR emoji stickers that can only show your face. You can make dance videos with your AR emojis and choose templates from 10 different categories, including fun, cute, and party. You can also use your own drawings to create unique clothes for your AR emojis. You can now easily resize picture-in-picture -picture windows with pinch to zoom for much more ease. Your current app in use will remain in view and not blurred out when using edge panels to help also see more at once. There is a new driver monitor in Digital Wellbeing. You'll get reports on how much you've used your phone and which apps you've used. The dual clock widget now shows different background colors for each city depending on whether it's day or night. The new calendar layout lets you add events easily. You can find events with more easily improved search features. The new home screen widget shows you your monthly calendar along with today's events. You can now create shared calendars and invite other Galaxy users to join. The search features for the My Files app have improved. Even with a typo, you can still find what you're looking for. The recent files area have expanded to help you more easily find files you've used. The search suggestions in the Samsung internet applications have more results when you enter text in their address bar with results appearing in an all new design. In accessibility, you can adjust contrast and screen size at the same time in the custom display mode for higher contrast and large display. You can use a floating button that is always available to access accessibility options much quicker. There are more visibility options available to meet your needs from reducing transparency and blur. You can set different colors for each app's notifications so you can easily determine where notifications are coming from. The magnify window has been merged with new magnification menu, giving you more options and control. When it comes to Bixby routines, now you have more conditions available. You can now turn on enhanced processing with a set routine and also options for connecting and disconnecting Bluetooth devices. You can reorder options by touching and holding actions on the edit page. Advanced options have also been added to let you wait before an action starts and more. You can create custom icons for your routines using a camera or image from the gallery. In the Samsung Health app, a new tab layout at the bottom of the screen helps you access the features you need more easily. The new My Page tab shows your profile, weekly summary, badges, and personal best. For your gender selection, you can choose other or prefer not to say. It's now easier to invite your friends to team challenges by sending a link. Also, additional snacks have been added to the food tracker. The visual layout for visibility enhancements have seen a slight change with a display mode selection at the top. Under interaction and dexterity, in the accessibility settings, there is now an option for voice access. This must first be installed from the Play Store, which then lets you control your Android device hands-free, which is currently available in English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish only. In the more battery settings in device care, there is now a toggle to protect your battery's lifespan by limiting the charge to 85%. The discovery of new features and findings in One UI 4.0 with this beta build and future builds is definitely going to continue and not stop. To not miss out, be sure to follow us over at sammobile.com for the latest news in the world of Samsung daily. For more videos on Sam Mobile TV, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and we will see you next time.